fellow athletics fans and sport lovers right around Australia and indeed the world, welcome to the road to Glasgow. And I can tell you, here on the Tartan Couch, we've only got 160 days until the 2014 Glasgow Commonwealth Games. My name's Robbo, this is Mossy, and we're going to bring you a wrap up of all the things happening around Australia in terms of athletics. And Mossy, welcome. Yes, thanks very much, Robbo. Looking forward to another great trap classic, uh, and I'll give you a few comments as we go through today. Yeah, looking forward to it, mate. Well, I'll tell you what, I want to know all about what was happening with you in that stretched lycra last week. Last time folks back home have seen you, that you were throwing things in some stretched Aussie uh, bodysuit. Mate, has that bodysuit recovered or what? Yeah, Robbo, I've had a lot of people uh, comment out there on Twitter about the fact that it was a little bit too tight, things showing that probably shouldn't have been showing, and... Some people say I've got one of the greatest bums of all time, but obviously they probably need to put their glasses back on. But uh, listen, mate, that was absolutely stretched, but uh, it was so good to have a rub down by you at the end of it. Yeah, well, that was the tartan tosses. If you want to see more, or if you don't want to see more, uh, avoid YouTube. That's where you'll find it. But Mossy, that was the Briggs, the 25th Briggs, and wasn't it a cracker? Uh, they had 12B qualifiers on the night, and uh, a great night down there, and a big thanks to uh, all the team down there in Athletics Tasmania. Some of the highlights, Mossy, uh, for you, what, what, what came in? Probably the biggest ones. I love a chuck, I love a toss, there's no doubt about it. Uh, I've mentioned it before, run, jump, or chuck. Uh, the men's jab, Hamish Peacock launched him one out there at 79.47. That's a B qualifier. He went a little bit bigger in Hunter Track Classic with a 79.90. Yep. Uh, he's got a, a punch one out there at 81, but the thing is, he threw out his elbow at the very same time, Robert. So not a great thing, but looking forward to him for the rest of the series. Mossy, well, as uh, viewers know, it's a big one for the distance runners down there at Briggs, and the women's 1500 metres didn't disappoint. Uh, in that one, we had Mill Duncan, who we saw just narrowly edged out for the win at the Hunter Track Classic. Well, she took the win down there ahead of Zoe Buckman, and uh, it was a great time by both the girls. Mill Duncan ran 4.09.98 to get the B qualifier. Zoe, only less than a second behind, 4.10.49 for a B qualifier as well. So great things happening in women's middle distance. Yeah, and what about in the other uh, middle distance for the blokes? Benny St. Lawrence exercised those demons uh, from the Zatapec 10 where mm. he absolutely bonked out. Uh, g'day Benny out there. Uh, in the 5,000, won it uh, in the 131,056. Now he needs to uh, run a 13,31 to get the B, so he's not too far off that, but a uh, full second uh, to get there by the end of the season. Yeah, that's right. And Mossy, also, as we mentioned in our almost live stream of the Briggs, on the Sunday was the walks, and it was the 20k Oceanic and Australian uh, Walking Championships, and that was taken out by the hyphenated walker, uh, the bird man himself, uh, Dane Bird Smith. And, uh, <coughs> I know you're a big fan of the bird. Well, I'm a huge, uh, huge fan of the bird. Uh, obviously, bird whistle being my favourite of all time, but uh, love a hyphen and love a, uh, a bird name. And in the women's, it was Kelly Ruddick taking that out, so well done uh, to those guys as well. And uh, that was a great wrap-up of the weekend down there in Hobart. Yes, what about a week later? The biggest week in athletics for quite some time, the 2014 ACT State Championships. Now, Robbo, <laughs> tell me, is it a state? Well... Well, the whole weekend, this went for three days this meet, and I'll tell you what, it troubled me greatly. They're calling it the state champs, but don't they know they're in a territory down there? Oh, it's unbelievable, isn't it? They've got to pick that one up ACT. But uh, look at this, A qualifiers, three mm. A qualifiers, right? That is unbelievable. Haven't seen that yet. Six B qualifiers yeah. and one... Australian record by a young lady, Robert. Yeah, and we'll get to that in a sec, but I just want to touch on there's a call for Canberra to have its own track classic. On the back of, you know, those qualifiers and the just quality of the meet, uh, it would be it wouldn't be unusual uh, to see a, a track classic down there in the nation's capital. Yeah, if they don't have a good track, why don't they build one out of Tugramont? I think they've got a pretty good one there at the AIS, but you spoke about the Breen, uh, the Breen factor. Breen machine, uh, throw out any Breen pun you can. In fact, you're going to have a vote on that in, in a sec. But a 20-year record, Mossy. What were you doing 20 years ago? I can't remember, Robert. Well, what were you doing? I can't remember either. I, I think I was probably running around somewhere. But, uh, yeah, Belinda Gaines for Taylor. Taylor held the women's 100-metre uh, mark here in Australia for 20 years until the weekend just gone, Sunday afternoon, in a heat, no less, uh, in the heat. And uh, the Breen machine, Mel Breen, came out and smashed 11-11 in the heat and then she went on to, to run 11.15 in the final to, to dust up none other than Sally Pearson. And in response to that record-breaking run by Mel Breen, Mossy, the media's just gone crazy and it's been great to see athletics in the media the way it has been. We thought we'd better catch up with Mel ourselves and uh, we'd like to give her a call right now. What do you reckon? Absolutely. We'll Get her on the phone. We'll see if, you, if she's there. Has this thing got enough credit, Mossy? I think so. So we'll hit the number in. 
Hope you get the right one, Robo. Thanks, mate. Thanks. G'day, Mel. Ah, yes. Congratulations. It's Mossy and Robo here on the Tartan Couch. We just wanted to say fantastic run on the weekend and, and really well done. Yeah, that's great. Now, tell us, I just want to know what, what was going through your mind as you were in those blocks at the start line. Uh, did you expect to run as fast as you did? Uh, honestly, no. I was very, very nervous before the heat. It was, I guess, the first time racing against some of these girls this season. And, like, I've been a bit sheltered, I guess, in Canberra, racing at Interclub and, um, yeah, just racing against a lot of the younger girls. So I knew conditions were great, and I was so nervous because I just didn't want to stuff it up, honestly. It was so awesome out there, and I know I needed to execute to get a good time. I couldn't just rely on the weather. So I was really nervous, and I was just like, okay, no, it's okay. You've got this. You can do it. Just do what you're doing training, and, and it will be okay. Yeah, great. And tell us, what's coming up next? You're off to Perth? Yes, I'm actually in Perth at the moment, oh, yeah. in glorious, lovely, beautiful, sunny Perth. Um, so I, um, I may be running this weekend at the WA State Championships, just seeing how the body pulls up. Um, I trained in Canberra on Wednesday, and it went really well. So um, fingers crossed that I'll run the 100, which will be on Friday night here in Perth, and then stay here for the week and run again the 100 at the Perth Track Classic. All right, well, we look forward to seeing you in Perth. All right, see you then. Lovely young lady. Absolutely, an absolute cracker. And talking yeah. about one of the greats, Kelsey Lee Roberts, 63.92, threw out another of her great throws. That's an A qualifier, a personal best, and this weekend we'll see her in action at the Adelaide Track Classic against some of the biggest names, not just Australia, but Robbo, in, in D, the whole world. Oh! Get Mossy and Robert in Glasgow! Yeah! Mossy, you spoke about Adelaide, and let's rip into that right now because this is the next stop for the National Athletic Series here in Australia for 2014. And Adelaide Track Classic, it's a, it's a great meet they have on down there. We thought we might catch up with a bloke that knows a little bit about it all, Athletic South Australia CEO Adam Bishop. So, what do you reckon, Mossy? Will we get him on the line? Absolutely, right. All right, well, I'll see if I can punch in the number and uh, hopefully this will fire up again. Just hang on. Come on, Adam. Fire up, buddy. Half an hour behind down there, too. Ah, uh, Adam. Yeah, g'day, mate. It's Robbo here from uh, Mossy and Robbo. We're here on the Tartan Couch. Yeah, how's things? Yeah, mate, tell us about your name because in the city of churches, obviously, uh, you were a shoe-in to get a pretty high-ranking high position uh, with a name like Bishop. Uh, nicely done. <laughs> yeah, uh, just a bit of luck, I think, uh, with that one. But uh, no, it's uh, it's certainly great to be in the role. Good. Now, mate, tell us big meet this Saturday night down at uh, Santos Stadium in Adelaide. What are you looking forward to yourself? Oh, look, I'm uh, I'm a distance runner by trade, so I'm always a little bit partial to some of the track events. But uh, probably the the event that's looking like uh, potentially being the highlight of the night uh, this year at the moment is uh, the women's javelin with. Uh, four of the uh, the top three girls in the Commonwealth in that event. So uh, obviously uh, Kim Mickle uh, will probably be a favourite going into that, but uh, certainly there's a couple of challenges and you know we look forward to hopefully some big throws. Uh, Sally Pearson uh, is obviously a, a huge draw card for us and uh, it was great uh, back in November last year when Sally came out and said that uh, Adelaide was on, on her agenda and uh, we, we sort of think that uh, that'll boost numbers in the crowd, uh, I, I tend to call it the Sally effect, and I, I think for us here in Adelaide, it's probably worth an extra thousand people through the gate. Excellent, mate. Well, uh, again, uh, apologies. We won't be able to get down there with the Tartan Couch this year, but we, we look forward to getting down there for Adelaide Track Classic 15, and uh, all the very best, mate. Hope it's a great night, and we look forward to seeing uh, and following all the action and, and seeing the results as they come through, so have a great one. I look forward to having a seat on the couch next year. <laughs> no worries, mate. We'll keep it warm for you. Sounds great. All right, cheers, mate. Ah, uh, the bishop. Great to catch up with young Adam. Yeah, you've got to love a bishop. And you see down here Adelaide being uh, potentially the city of churches. Why not cover that uh, throughout here? In yeah. fact, I've got a new segment for you, Rob. I'm yes. going to call this the 4x100. And every time we do uh, the road to Glasgow, we'll actually give you four facts about the city, the meat, the people that have something to do with uh, with that uh, meet that's coming up. So this is the Adelaide Track Classic. Right. So I've got four out here. Let's do the first leg. Uh, starting off out the blocks. Did you know that Adelaide was the first place in Australia to legalise nude swimming? Mossy, I didn't know that. I wonder if that's why they've got so many great whites down there. Well, there's plenty of white pointers, I'm sure, as a result. But, mate, uh, let's rip into previewing this Adelaide Track Classic. 
And uh, I want to go through the high five. We've got five key points. And Mossy, uh, kick us off. What, what's got you excited so far well, as you look down the list? Well, Rob, I'm not going to kick it off whatsoever. I'm going to tell us we're going to chuck it off. Ah. Because we have, this is a chuckers move. I'm calling this one uh, the Adelaide Field Classic. We should rename it for the girls. Uh, we've got some of the best pole vaulters, shot put, javelin, discus. It's just all happening down there. We've got world, uh, you know, world uh, level athletes. We've got Australian champions, everything. So uh, this one should be an absolute ripper away. Well, you mentioned the chucking and the women's javelin. That's going to be a tough event to beat. You've got three Aussies that could, in theory, finish one, two, three on the podium over there in Glasgow when the time comes. They're just throwing out of their skins. Uh, Kim Mickle, as we know, got the silver medal at the Moscow World Champs last year. Her big goal is to throw the national record, a new national record, and she was only 20 centimetres off that last year. The record is 66.80, so her PB is 66.60. Kelsey Lee Roberts, uh, 63.92, which she threw just last week in Canberra, and then Catherine Mitchell also represented Australia and uh, at the Olympics and World Champs, and we know how good she is as well. So the KKK, we're going to see how they go in those uh, in the javelin, mate. What about the second one for you, Robbo? <laughs> Sally Pearson in the in the 100, 200 metre double. Yeah, that's going to be tough to top as well. And uh, Sally Pearson, as we know, she'll be she'll be uh, having a good think about getting dusted up by an Aussie. It hasn't happened in about nine years or so. Uh, so she'll come out firing, and I think she'll find something to call upon. And I don't think she'll be uh, touchable in the 100 and the 200. So Sally Pearson. She can lock her in for that double and say. Well, she's warming up at the moment for the World Indoors over there sure. at Sopo, over in uh, Poland. Uh, it's on early in March, so she'll be looking forward to defending her, her crown, Robbo. Um, listen, it's, it's over in Poland, as I said there. The first World Indoor Championships was held in 1985 in Paris. They also held it in 97. Right. Okay, so where do you reckon the next one will be? Well, I would have thought if you if you put a bit of uh, logic behind it, I, I would have think I would have thought somewhere like Darwin. Oh, of course. You know, because it's pretty hot up there, and they get cyclones, and they get some pretty heavy, hectic weather. So you want to get your athletics indoors, so you've got the air conditioning on, and you can control these elements. So, um, is it Darwin? I think we could probably have some air conditioning. <laughs> well, <here too. laughs> this is why this is why we're indoors <laughs> today, in honour of Sopot or Sopot or Sopo. Yeah, Sopo. Yeah, Sopo. Exactly. Yeah. Now, the second leg of the four by one hundred. Uh, obviously, uh, a lot of people would know this, that Adelaide is the first and only uh, colony in Australia that was settled by free settlers. Okay, everywhere else had convicts, but Adelaide just set up completely for the uh, free settlers. And I'm telling you, Robbo, that's why they've got nothing. They've got no fighting spirit down there, those uh, South Australians. Be careful, mate. Watch what you say there. That might just fire them up. But uh, number three on the high five, I don't think it's going to be... Hard, uh, it's going to be very difficult to go past the men's 800 metres, featuring the likes of Ralph and Rowe. And we're calling it a row down. Uh, such is the quality of this men's 800, the head-to-head. Uh, Josh Ralph, his quality is from New South Wales. He was unused in the 4x400 uh, World Champs relay team last year. He ran his B qualifier at the Zatapank meet, end of uh, last year, in 2013, 147.60. Alex Rowe, we also know his quality. Uh, he was in the semi-final at Moscow last year, and he's... he's he will have to get close to a PB to knock over Ralph. Uh, he's got a 145.44, so that's going to be a hotly contested race. Well, second, in fact, the third of our leg. Okay, so we're starting to uh, get close to coming around that bend, Robbo, in the 4 by 100. So the third one here. Did you know this? That Adelaide is the opal capital of Australia. And I'm going to throw it out there. It's the opal capital of the world. And if you don't believe me, bloody prove it. Well, uh, Captain Cooper Petey. Up the road, I believe that it's pretty big up there as well. So there you go, Mossy. And uh, keeping in, in line with the men, I'm going to go number four on the high five, the men's 400. And this is a head-to-head between Beck and Burns. Bertie. Um, hoping that the boys can push each other and, and let's go under 47 and get as close to 46 as possible. The B qualifier there is 45.85. Uh, looking quickly on Twitter, uh, at Craigzilla Burns. Well, he's only got 96 followers, Mossy. That was a big surprise to me. Uh, but it is 50 above his PB. So... Uh, keep uh, keep going there. Jump on Twitter right now and get on at Craigzilla Burns. So now it's time to finish off the 4x100. We're in number four here. The baton's been changed. We're sprinting down the final straight. Now, a lot of people think that Adelaide is the city of churches, Robbo. Thus, we've got the churches yep. down there. Just one, uh, We've got about what, five of the 4,000 churches that are in Adelaide. But all the locals, in particular the old locals, will tell you it's actually formerly 
the city of churches and pubs. Mm. There you go. So uh, a little bit more than just the city of churches. Mossy, you're giving away all the secrets of Adelaide, and it's great to see the uh, the four by one hundred now. Final one in the, in the high five, the women's 5,000. This will be the final event of the night. Uh, it's become very famous down there. And uh, I've got some late-breaking news uh, as far as who's starting in that event. And Jess Trengove, who we were hoping to cheer her on in that, the, the homegrown talent, is uh, apparently a late scratching. She's focusing on uh, marathon in Japan, Nagoya, very shortly. So unfortunately, we won't get to see uh, Jess in action. And obviously, you know, we know how good she is and I know how close you are to the Trengo family, Mossy. But look out for Madeline Heiner and Millie Clark in that one. They, they both ran the uh, Hunter Track Classic steeplechase and will finish one, two in that one. And a late update as well. Kelly Hevington has just slipped her entry into the women's 800 metres. So we'll be seeing Kelly in action in her pet event. That's going to be great too, Mossy. Well, that's all we've got time for this week, Rob. We'll be uh, doing this every week, the road to Glasgow. Now, what I want to do is I want to urge you, if you're in Adelaide, if you're anywhere near an airport, I want you to get down there, track side or field side. I want you to get off your ass. It's just five bucks to get into the Adelaide Track Classic, and we'll see you there.